Hi, welcome to another Timu video, as you can see from the, what do you call that thing? Little snapshot thingy at the start? Anyway, whatever, welcome. This Timu, I think it came in the last order. I think I may have held it up and said I'd try it on later. Anyway, it's not gonna be part of the try on video that I am gonna make, because I did receive another clothing item today but it's in the clothing box. But this one I've been wearing a little bit, super comfortable, oversized, love it. Anyway, uh, this I'm hoping is gonna get fixed with some of the headbands that I have arrived in today's video. You received headbands, Jane? Of course you did. Did I receive rings? Of course I did. Okay, I haven't even written a price on this one. But I do have two like it. These are those um, like big curly hair girl problem video um, headbands. They're the ones that are like your sunglasses that you put on. Or I could just pretend to be Data from Star Trek Next Generation. That's a bit cool. I don't know it's too far away but I'm gonna keep wearing it when I find out the price I'll let you know what it is and um, this video is just gonna be I think we're gonna do household and gifts because I got piles I got piles on top of piles so it's probably gonna be two or three videos um first up is in the gift pile and I've had to write the price down here because I've already taken it out of its wrapper it's a B A L L, -L Y for the um, Miss Pim and what you do is on the other side where there's actually a dip to put your fingernail in it's got a little USB charger port there. It came with the usual little USB charger, which is now hanging up there. Um, yeah, you just plug it in, charge it, and what it does Can you hear that? Okay, it's got her attention now. I have shown it to her, but I don't want her to have it yet. Different modes. And I think that that one turns it off. So hopefully it won't do any more. But it's a bit small. No, we're back. Excuse my language. Maybe there's the on off thing inside here. Stop it. Stop. You're learning this in real time with me today. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna put that down. And if she comes to life again, I'll have to try and not be surprised and think that we're house is possessed. Right. So that was $9.79. Other households. This was $1.68. And it is... Is it needed? Probably not. Did I want it and get it anyway? Yeah. So it's a measuring tape that you can use to like measure yourself and you know how sometimes like if you're trying to do an arm measurement and that, I'll show you as an example, I haven't used it before, but and then it goes into the little slot here and then you press the button that retracts 
and then it tells you what your measurement is. Awesome. I, w I actually got it for doing like around my waist or doing around puppies' waist so I can make sure that their clothes get them before, that, before I buy them. It's something that you don't know that you need till you get it. And then you don't know how you ever survived. A couple of... They're technically craft items, but I'm going to put them under household because they're tools. But I bought them for craft. These ones were $16.98. Sorry, this one was $16.98. Because I did some reviews on it on YouTube and it looked absolutely amazing. And it's a knot tying tool for doing uh, like necklaces and bracelets and bead making and things like that. I'm not liking what this thing is doing to my hair. I'm easily distracted. It's my ADHD. So I don't know. I haven't worked it out yet, but I think you tie it on here and then you're able to tie it. It allows you to tie knots like right up close to the end of the bracelet or bead. I've been playing and this is the... Oh God, that bloody ball's just come to life. So this one is one I made last night. It's just an elasticized one. That little shit's gonna play off on its own all day. This is actually for my sister. So if you are my sister, stop watching. If you know my sister, don't tell her. Oh God, it's fallen to the floor. It's gonna take on a life of its own. Right, but this, this I'm gonna do a separate video. This is, Morse code. I made all the beads. Spell out a word or a phrase that only she will understand. I'm gonna let you know more about that. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to be undistracted by this thing rolling around at my feet. Anyway, so that's what that is. These are two of the same, 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 but different. $6.99 and $7.99. I think they are like filing, get the smaller one, uh, like a flat chisely file thingy. Flat chisely file thingy. Why would I never get a job as an apprentice on a, on a building site? See when my dad never invited me to come to his workplace two days in a row. What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing that for? Why are you doing that? What's that called? So it is a file. And I'm going to be using these. The plan was to use these on the back of neck uh, stud earrings that I file off the back of. If they still have a little lip on them when I'm making them into on earrings which I'm still having a lot of fun doing although also discovered a whole heap of um, clip on earrings pre-made that they don't have on Timu found them on Shein did I go crazy yes I did this is the $7.99 one slightly bigger that Shein haul is gonna be a whole different video I bought some dresses as well Nah, they went back I just, they made me look like a potato, I was wearing a potato sack. Nice and colourful and pretty, but it was still a potato sack. And I'm too pretty for a potato sack. These are $5.94. Can you hear that thing still going off at my feet? I'm trying to ignore it. These are round... I'm not going to use the scissors. I don't want to cut it. Not when it just opens. Oh, sweet Jesus. They're rolling out everywhere. These are round. I'm going to call them round chisels. So, 
we have I don't have the patience for this today we have flat chisels and we have round chisels for getting into the tight spots and this is a set of six all different shapes some of them are actually flat chisels but they're really tiny ones so I'm guessing not even for um, earring making crafts any kind of crafts awesome these look to be really super high quality gonna love using those and this last one I'm so excited about this this was I'm gonna put my foot on that shit, that thing seven dollars and eight cents and it's a little desk vice so you attach it to your desk or table or drawer or even add in the shed you attach it onto there and then you've got your little vice and this was to hold onto the little earrings I might have to put some padding in there to, you know, help protect them. To hold the earrings while I uh, 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 chisel at them. Love it. Going to be have great fun doing that. And I thought husband could also use it when he is doing some of his uh, craft work with his... Because he does uh, opal cutting and jewellery making with different pieces of resin and different minerals so he can probably use that as well if you know I let him depends how well behaved he is I think it turned itself off I had my foot on it and it kept going after I took my foot off it I hope I haven't broken uh if I have you know what it's still rolls it's still a b-a-l-l-y and i know she's a, an animal but she knows what that word spells out and we all do it when we spell out w-a-l-k and things like that right rest of the household this is six dollars and 18 cents and it is a collapsible sink our kitchen's very small and our sink is quite low and may or may not have a crack in it. Depends who you ask. I say yes. Husband says no. I see a dirty big crack in the side of the sink. So, I'm right, he's wrong. You guys are all going to be on my side. I know you are. So I think it's originally designed for camper trailers and like camping, but I just needed something inexpensive to use in my kitchen to do my dishes when I don't have a huge, and that is amazing, the size of it. And then it just collapses away to nothing. totes impressed with that so impressed by that I really lost a little piece of six dollars and eighteen cents you know I'm going to put things inside there I'm going to transfer them from here as I do them I'm going to put them into there so this is not only as I said not only household but also presents so quick coffee break Right, household, 89 cents. Hoping it's going to be one of these things that didn't know I needed it in my life until it appeared. It's a egg yolk separator or egg white separator, whichever one you want to keep. Crack the egg, tip it into there, egg white falls out, egg yolk stays in there. It's going to do exactly what it says on the container. I hope. A dollar sixty-eight, and I'm there's a lot of pressure on this thing to save my life if it ever needs to. But it doesn't ever need to. 
it comes with a little clip but it's one of those emergency things that you have in your car should you be in an accident and need to break the window so this clips onto there let's not do it chain let's not hold these good people up now nope, we've started now but this comes off and it's got the blade in here that you can cut the seat belt with and then this is the part here that you can smash against your glass and this end here um, what this end does here is um, it helps distract you when you are bored and fidget spinning I have no idea what it does I'm gonna to have to do some research on that does it come out no, it just pushes in. It's not like it's a light. Maybe it is a light. I thought maybe it was a whistle. I wasn't just doing that to be fun. I thought it was a whistle. So yeah, I don't know what that thing at the end does. Maybe it's got something to do with this part that we pull out. I always feel like I'm pulling out a hand grenade when I do that. I'm not going to hold you good people up, but I am going to read up on the instructions, but hoping to never, ever have to use that. I don't know. This doesn't feel, there are other ones that I also had in my cart. This, this one, I think you're going to need more, like to break it, I think you're going to have to have a bigger hold on it. And if I'm holding that like that, you can't, it's not out. But you know what? I hope I never, ever need to use it. But even if I only ever have to use it for the seatbelt, oh, I might save my life. Who knows? Okay, some presents. I do um, 12 days of Christmas for my family every year. So I'm also looking for, like, stocking stuff up. Um, 12 days of Christmas advent calendar style things and I have one of these and I love it these are the like the endless pencils like they've just got the bit of lead on the end love it I love writing in pencil anyway and they're $1.58 and I got one for I think I got one for my mum my sister my brother-in-law and my husband there's only three but then i reckon there's another one in here somewhere didn't turn up at the very end otherwise only three of them are going to get something 249 this is another gift this one is for my husband so what this is i'm not going to take it out but this is a set of tweezers that he can use for his um, uh, jewelry making and opal cutting gem stuff. But then at this other end, it's got like a little shovely scoopy thing because he works with really fine materials. So he can use that as a little scoop to move from one place to the other. 249. Look like a cute little gift. We all know what these are. 129, they're those cloud cutters, little rotary blade things. Presents for family. 149. This one's a flower, these ones are clouds. I think there's another cloud in there as well. Household. 168 it's a dumpling maker wow 
Jane, do you eat lots of dumplings in your house? Not once. Not once have we eaten dumplings in our house. But now we might. See? I'm not even 100% sure I like dumplings. You put that out there as well. But again, we'll see. We had a power blackout here a couple of weeks ago. I was very unprepared. Only for the fact that I was sitting on my phone playing a game. What? Um, but I had that light source. But I also had a... I've got a torch up here that's a solar-powered torch. And I always have it charged. Always have it fully charged. But I realised that that was my only source of light. So I was the most popular person in the house. The dogs just followed me absolutely everywhere. Couldn't even go to the bathroom on my own. So, and I've wanted, um, not a candelabra, because this house does not befit a candelabra. Doesn't even befit saying a fancy word candelabra. So, ye oldie fashioned candle holder. Now, I'm just going to get just those normal household candles. I'd rather not get the big tall ones. I'd rather get like the medium sized ones. And walk around. It catches everything. I got four of them for 438. So 438 each and I got four of them. Four. So that we can always have, I figured we can always have one just set up in the bathroom, one in the kitchen, one in the bedroom, one in the lounge room with a candle on it and either a lighter or some matches or preferably one of those reusable USB lighters because I don't do fire. But I also don't like being in the dark. So I got those. 78 cents it's just one of those brushes like for glazing honey glazed ham the glazing ham or glazing your food or putting egg wash on pastry I don't know so many choices gift this is to go with the uh, Stanley Cup dupe that I got for husband for Christmas. It's just a straw topper with a little faux Starbucks coffee cup on the top because he likes his coffee. Christmas gifts again. I actually got two of these, 148. They are the privacy stamps that you put across your mail address and like banking details to make sure that uh, no sneaky people out there can steal your information. That's the last of the pen, pencils. Right. Real household now. 348. These are uh, like anti-vibration feet for my washing machine so that it doesn't come out and meet me halfway outside the laundry every time I do a load of washing. It's doing it less and less now. There's a dryer on top of it, but it used to meet me halfway. So you have to lift the dryer off top first, then put these on, then put the dryer back. I think I might wait for husband to come back for that one. Um, that might be out of my league. 348. Hopefully it's going to be awesome. That is just another one of the clouds. Another gift. Six eighty-nine. Little tote bags. But they are reversible ones. So they've got that on the one side, and then on the inside, it's just a bright yellow. Um Geometry, simplicity, life. There's like no pockets or anything. It's just a stock standard tote bag. And I think I got two of them. 
Uh, I think I've already put one in the Christmas box. But this is for my mum and my sister as part of their Christmas gifts. Because you can never have too many reusable bags, right? Going downtown, my sister called me today and she was going op shopping. And I was totes jealous because I love op shopping at our friends. Um, okay, another tote bag. This one is for mum. Actually, maybe I only got one of those. And then I got this one for mum. I thought that, it's me, I didn't read the instructions properly. I thought it was just a little tote bag with different herbs and everything on there. But it's actually herbology from Harry Potter, which is fine. Mum lo loves Harry Potter as well. But it's got the the mandrake and the gillyweed and the puffer pod and the... But that is super cute. Um, and yeah, she can just take that down to the shops, get her bread and her milk. $8.48. So I think I'm probably about 80% of the way through my Christmas shopping, either already here or waiting on delivery. So I'm doing okay. I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm quite pleased with myself. A few videos back, uh, I got some of the the, the full piece pajama set for the puppies. Uh, it was in a, a brown color. I put a picture at the end of the video so you could see just how absolutely adorable they were. They love them. So I got them another one each. One can be pink and one can be um, grey. I'm thinking, I think they're both the same size. Yeah, they're both the same size. Um, Miss Pym is definitely the girly of the two, and Miss Yaya is so much like her daddy. Not just in looks, but in temperament, and she's such a tomboy. Oh, sorry, those were 9.48 each, and they are awesome quality. The just... Like they've been washed a couple of times now and it's still phenomenal. Okay, 528. And this is the liners that go uh, inside your fridge to help protect your fridge. I think there's like three or four in here. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I do have to clean out my fridge and give it a real good scrub and then I'll be putting those down awesome I got another monthly planner I don't know how many monthly planners I think I need maybe I'm having one for each of my different personalities but I got another one this one's a like a two and a half oh maybe this is why I got this one this one goes from 2023 to 2025 and I have a big roundy birthday coming up in 2025. 1975 babies represent. And I think I, I was just excited by the fact that this would go all the way to 2025. It does. And it's going to include April 2025, which I never thought would come. I remember being in school going, God, can you imagine in 2025... We're going to be 50 and we're all like, oh, old. And now it's like two years away, 18 months away. So that was 8.48. And yeah. Planning. For what I don't know, because all I do is work and Timu. Okay couple more things these are those i think they're actually advertisers not anti-fatigue but the the mats that you put down you can put them at your workplace or i got two one for in front of the sink uh, in the kitchen and it's just a, a squishy mat so it's just easier to stand when you're standing for long periods so i got one for the kitchen it says kitchen that one was 748 and then I've got one for the laundry, I think is a little bit bigger, only slightly bigger, bigger. It was 8 dollars 
I don't spend a great deal of time in the laundry because well, it's a hovel. Um, but the time that I do spend in there is it's now going to be a little bit nicer now that I've got the mats. I went to the doctors the other day and they told me that I had a little bit of high blood pressure and they asked if I had a blood pressure machine. And I'm like, of course I don't. But I do now. So I had to wear, they did a 24 hour blood test, uh, blood pressure thing on me. And I'm thinking, oh, what's this fancy device that they've developed now that you can wear for 24 hours? No. I had to wear a full size cuff for 24 hours that it was attached to a little baggie that I had to wear as a crossbody that pumped itself up every hour and scared the crap out of me. Modern technology nowadays needs to have done something about that. So I just got, I, I know it's probably not going to be the most super accurate thing in the world, but it'll give me a bit of an idea. Um, $8.98. For that price, I'm not expecting miracles. But no, it's just going to attach like that and... You know, I can just keep a check. But if my doctor asks me next time I go in, what's it been like? I can say, well, my $8.98 machine from Timu says that I am doing awesome. Thank you very much. And it also said you don't have to make me get on the scales today. I hate it when they make you get on the scales. Good Lord. And then they wonder why we're stressed in there. Okay, I'm going to save that one for last because it's my very favourite. Uh, Christmas presents. I've seen a few people do reviews of these on YouTube and my husband loves frozen drinks. And it, I don't know how it works, but I like the idea of it. So you just place it in the freezer, you wait till it's frozen, then you add your drink to it, and then you, and it makes it a slushy. Anyway, blue one for boys, yellow one for me, because I didn't, uh, I think the pink one was a bit more expensive. Actually, no, they were different prices anyway, and this was very confusing. The yellow one, $16.98, the blue one, Tell you, he's lucky I love him. $23.48. I think I may have got a price adjustment on this, though. But certainly not bringing it down to the $16.98 price. But I'll be putting mine away until Christmas as well. I'll probably just wrap it up and gift it to myself. I don't know. Maybe you'll surprise me this year and actually buy me a Christmas present. Wonders will never cease. Okay. This is the last one, I think, of the households. And then I might come back later and do it for another video for later. Oops. I want to set out a little area around where uh, Mr. Peppercorn is eternally resting and make it a little chicken roost. But I'm petrified of chickens. So I'm just going to have the metal chickens out there because they won't scare me. I won't have to clean up after them. Yeah, we won't get eggs. But I don't eat eggs anyway, unless they're in a cake. Then I definitely eat eggs. But I don't have the I don't have the chickens yet. But I do have the sign. Cluckingham Palace. Cluckingham Palace. Five ninety four and it is by far my favourite thing ever. As usual. I mean it came a little bit dinted, but it's going to get dinted out there anyway in the weather. Favourite. So now I'm on the lookout for the chookens to go in the front yard. The ones I've had a look at on Timo, they say that they're metal and then I read the reviews and people say they're just a heavy plastic. And that's, that's probably fine in the weather because we get a lot of wet weather here on the west coast. But they're also quite small and I wanted something a little bit bigger. And I know 
We used to be able to get them at a home like Alice in Alice Springs. And they were gorgeous. And so I know what I'm looking for. I now just need to find it either online or maybe get somebody here to make me something like out of repurposed scrap is really what I'm looking for. Uh, so I might have to put the feelers out, but I think that that is all of my homewares and best news of all, that freaking Bally stopped. Probably ran out of battery. Whatever, I'll just recharge it. Uh, anyway, thanks for hanging around. Uh, I'm now going to have some fun distributing all of this stuff to where it needs to go into the present cupboard or on the floor in the kitchen and laundry and that sort of thing. And... Um, yeah, get that all put away and then I might even sit back down and film the next video, which uh, I've only got two to go, which is I like household and then personal, which is all my jewellery and headbands. So thanks for sticking around. 36 minutes. We've done well. I um, hope you're all having a brilliant day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.